it's a big city the capital of kazakhstan and i don't know how it is in your big city but growing up in la we didn't have this right here which is i think it's pretty cool you're not butting into businesses asking for the restroom and you're definitely not urinating on the streets when you have this here available which are water coolers it's pretty cool that's what they call him that's the wc4 is water cooler i don't know why which is uh a bathroom oh look like we're about to hit an, an art walk right here soon let's go peep game these artists get down. Well, here's a lover, a lover of art. Of course, they love their horses here. Look at that. They managed to make the kitty look guilty. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't understand. Thank you. I don't know what she said. My mom used to do stuff like this. She learned from my grandma. The wolf looks nice. A lion and kitty. And here's the the hustler, the amateur. Not amateur, the the hustler, the, the working artist. The one that'll create something for you on the spot. On the spizz up. Look, I'm taking care of the city. I like that. It smells good. I just say pink smells good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys think of the Kazakh women? Unique looking, huh? The Kazakhs are so big too. Here we're in the south. Traditional. Cotton candy. Ah, that's nice. Oh, for, they got some for the men. <laughs> Out of traditional Kazakh clothing. Dude, he got me what how am i gonna how am i gonna be a, a hypocrite and i tell him to photograph me when i'm videoing everybody you know what i'm saying he asked too and i give him the thumbs up i could tell usually as a vlogger I've, i could tell when people do not want to be filmed and look as simple as this that's all you do see or you could do something like this keep it on you but he is already know how i look let's look at the kazakh folk That's a distinct Kazakh woman right there. That's their look. <laughs> Look at 
the northern, the more northern you get, northerner you get, the more northern <laughs> you get. Um, like the more Russian they look, and the more eastern you get, of course, uh, the more Asian they look. But overall, they all have a pretty similar look. movie theater got a mall right here took a dip in there doing my typical mall walks this I was dressed too look sleeveless and there's no shirt underneath there either and I'm hot like I'm I still feel a little hot California burying me that's what I like to consider myself protected by muscle and visceral fat. There's some other places you can eat at. An apartment up there wouldn't be bad because this is actually the heart really active here at night through the train station got some scooters to get around food everywhere all kinds of food markets huge Korean influence here in Kazakhstan huge So that's probably one of, other than Russian, probably the second biggest minority here. Lots of traffic, just like every other a big city. Young girl, certainly look at her hustling at a young age, selling strawberries. That's good. I like that. She's gonna grow up to be somebody. People like that always do. They work their way to the top, little by little. People like that, with that um, innate, innate, cause she doesn't look like she's been forced to do that. With that innate uh, want to make more out of the current situation, they always do well. Kazakh streets, Kazakh, Kazakh. So far people have been very receptive to the camera.
baby. I learned that from my Georgian friend, Georgie. He always kept change for uh, people asking for it. Did not judge. And he is um, very Christian, dude. I learned a lot from him. He was a chief engineer and, and uh, their local uh, TV station. And uh, you know, I mean, he wasn't rich, but he always kept changing his pocket. Removes his hat whenever we would enter church or a cathedral, prayed, did the sign of the cross every time we passed by one, just like me. We were very alike and he taught me a lot about uh, giving. <laughs> I've, uh, I've had that thing about me. Like I said, none of us are perfect Christians. And that was my thing. I've always thought that people asking had ulterior motives like that I could have said uh, oh it's a hustle her child really isn't like that but it's not up to us her child really isn't like sick or doesn't really need it or it's a it's even a fake it's not even her child you know what I'm saying that's how cynical my mind was back then and um, if it was just an average dude just asking I would sit there and assume that they wanted it for alcohol or drugs. So I've worked on that and I'm working on it. Before I get you now, you know what I used to do with my change, guys? I, used to, I learned this from my mom too, eh? but my mom, she knew how to come up from uh, nothing. So it worked. We would save the coins and then we would go put them in rolls and take them to the bank. So we would literally count every penny. I'm actually going to go in here to see if I can uh, ask about these apartments. I haven't been able to yet. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end it right here.